go over some of the tools and the features that are available in the TMJ module within Rome Access for pulling a TOMO. So when, I'm, when I open up my volume, I'm going to go up to the top of the screen here where it says Explorer, and I'm going to click on Explorer and select TMJ. What that's going to do is it's going to bring over my 3D rendering as well as an axial slice of my volume. So just by sliding this bar up and down, I'm just moving through my volume and I'm going to slide until I can see the heads of the condyles. So typically I'll start in the upper arch and as I scroll, I'm watching the heads of the condyles until I can see them form right here and right here. So next, I'm going to define where the condyles are for the software. So right over here on the right hand side under TMJ, you have a draw right PA and a draw left PA option. I'll start with the right PA and over here there was a little R that said right and I'm just going to click right on the head of the condyle and I'm going to drag my mouse and then let go. And it's automatically going to set up two, uh, two slices and two slices perpendicular to the one that I just drew. Over here you can see the two slices uh, in a PA direction as well as four that are in a lateral direction that correspond to these four red lines right here. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the left hand side. I'm going to select draw left PA and I'll do the same thing on this side. I have a couple different tools that allow me to change how far apart uh, these windows are as well as how many slices that I have. So if I bring my cursor over to the wrench right up here where it says default settings, I'm going to have a TMJ tab up on the top. This allows me to change how wide each of my slices are. So they default to five millimeters, but I can set them at whatever I'd like and I can also change the cross sections for the PA view as well as the lateral view. Down here where it says two by one and two by two, that's how many slices I'm looking at. So right here in the PA view, I can look at three slices if I'd like, or I can even look at six slices if I wanted two layers of three and three, but typically on that, I, I like to just look at two. Same with from a lateral view, I can look at more lateral views or fewer if I'd like. The other option that I have is to not look at such a high vertical view. And this little icon right over here where it says define data range is going to let me essentially close the blinds on my condyle if I don't want to see such a tall, large image. And just by closing the blinds to focus in on the condyle region and click OK, you can see what that just did to each of my slices. It zoomed me in. So now as I slide this bar back and forth, you can see my little green slices moving that are 1.5 millimeters apart. I can set those wherever I'd like. On this side, you can see the bifurcation in that canal. And the same goes with the slide bar for the lateral slices. I can move those wherever I'd like. Wherever my cursor is, it also lights up, it illuminates the slice that I'm looking at. So you can see as I move my cursor from one slice to the next, it lights up on that axial slice just to help me orient myself. Hopefully that was some uh, Good little pointers to allow you to quickly pull a Tomo.